But first, we have to enable this placement in this version. I believe in the future it will be uh, just uh, enabled automatically and will not have to do this manually. But for now, what you have to do is exit this project and then you have to go to your project folder and find the config folder. Inside you'll find the default engine and you'll have to add these two lines. I'll keep them in the description. And then you open the project again. Now we have to create a landscape first. So let's go to our landscapes. Let's make it small and create. Uh, create the master material, create an instance straight away and put it into a landscape material here to see. There will be nothing there. And the difference is with vertex painting and landscape painting, uh, you don't do it in mesh painting area. You have to go to landscapes and then select paint. I see those three, you would not see them because I already prepared the master material and it already contains them. So I'm just going to go through how this master material is created in short. So basically we have this um, UV texture tiling. We don't use text coordinates, we use a landscape coordinates. And we do the same, multiply by the uh, number. And then uh, we have, for now, simple textures, which is albedo, uh, normal, and uh, ORDP, which contains uh, displacement. And then we have roughness and ambient occlusion. We don't necessarily need them, but it's just an example. Or if you don't have ORDP uh, texture, you can just have displacement height map texture as a separate and then just combine it to displacement. Now we have these material attributes created as a node because we'll need to combine three of them in one. So that's what we did here. We just combine them all. And we did this for three textures. Same thing. And then what happens, we combine them into a node called the landscape layer blend. And here you can select as many layers as you like. So you can even add another one and even create a fourth layer to paint, and even more. And then you just go to the final output of the attributes. By default, it was it was the full version, but uh, we selected it not to be because we want every one of them to be blended into one final uh, material attribute section. So now when we selected it, we created master material, we created an instance. If I open instance, what we have to do you can beforehand set the textures. We had three surfaces, and I just uh, applied it to every layer. So I have three layers. I call it base, middle, and top. Drag and drop them to select what textures I like, right? And when we do this, you will see on the landscape and paint layer section, you will see those appearing, three of them, the ones we just created. But before we can even see anything here, in the viewport, what we have to do is to go and create layer information. So we have to click this weight blended layer normal. So click this and you have to save it somewhere. You can create a folder just for now. I just need to save it anywhere in the content browser and just go with it. Now, so now everything appears and then we can paint. So whenever you select the layer, you can paint with this. Right? So as many as you created, it will be here. And, uh, of course, you can delete by holding shift. So now we need a displacement. We indeed enable it, and now it should be available to us in the option menu. But we have to uh, set it up. So we'll go to our ORDP, take this displacement into multiply node, and then we have a parameter for us to control the intensity. And then we we'll go to the displacement. And we do that for all three of them. Of course, you have to rename them to be controlled separately. So top, mid, and base. So now, so let's increase tiling for now, like this. And before we even continue to adjust the displacement, first what we need to do is select this landscape, and, uh, type and search nanite and enable nanite and build data. Now we will be able to create the displacement here, here, for example, one. And you create uh, the displacement here. Let's go two, let's go crazy. Let's go three. So now let's go back to landscape section here. Select grass and paint it with grass. It does this uh, crazy stuff on the paints. Ignore that for now. And as you can see, we did not change the displacement of the grass, so it will be even. 
Let's paint the third layer as well. Let's, let's create something like this. Let it look. It has to recalculate the shader. Uh, so whenever you paint, it has to do that. So you just paint for now like this. And then you have separate uh, settings for every texture to change its displacement. So let's change the mid layer displacement. And because it's grass, I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, you know, each grass bit is like a spike. So, and then let's do the same for the third layer, increase the texture. Here. So you have the displacement for every one of them, and you can control them. So you can even sculpt further. So let's raise this up. But whenever you sculpt, you see you have to go back and rebuild data. And now, when this is done, what you can do further, you can improve uh, the settings for your textures. And that's what I did here. So I have this master material of mine that I created. I took the parts that I need for this uh, landscape, and I created, uh, instead of this middle part, I just added more settings for uh, albedo, for metallic speculars, and normals, uh, and then occlusion and displacement itself. And then I combine them just like I did in this small example.